cortical basal um, syndrome uh, is um, uh, folks will have um, spatial difficulties, that is being able to appreciate uh, uh, the relationship between objects in space. Uh, this can emerge in our society oftentimes in um, situations like driving where uh, people have difficulty parking their cars or people when driving the, the car will drift into the uh, opposite, um, into oncoming traffic or people will have um, difficulty appreciating how to, make a, how to make a turn. So difficulty with appreciating spatial relationships is um, uh, uh, an important feature of cortical basal um, syndrome. And other ways that spatial difficulties can manifest themselves um, um, involve things like getting lost when you're, when you're driving around, not because of memory difficulty, but instead because of not being able to know when to make a left-hand turn or when to make a, a right-hand turn. Our, the, the topographical map that we carry around in our, in our heads just um, um, seems to have degraded. Um, other um, conditions, other uh, features that can emerge in cortical basal degeneration include difficulty with numbers, with number knowledge. So people may have difficulty making change when they're uh, uh, buying um, something at the, at the corner store or will um, have difficulty doing um, uh, what otherwise might seem to be trivial um, arithmetic operations like trying to figure out um, um, time of day, that kind of thing. Uh, so difficulty with number knowledge can be a problem. Uh, there can also be some difficulty in cortical basal degeneration with finding the words one wants to use with naming. Uh, and uh, a subgroup of people with cortical basal degeneration will have uh, uh, what's called progressive non-fluent aphasia. This is a form of speech that's very, very effortful, very, very slowed, and where there are errors in grammar in, in speaking. So um, some of the small little grammatical words that we use in sentences will drop out. And there's also difficulty with grammatical comprehension. Uh, uh, folks with cortical basal degeneration also can have some difficulty with planning, organization, judgment, um, uh, dual tasking, uh, and that um, uh, range of, 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 of cognitive activities. So those are the cognitive changes that can occur. The motor changes um, can include uh, some uh, 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 rigidity or stiffness that's affecting one side of the body or the other. Uh, there can also be uh, something that's called dystonia, a kind of, of, of cramping or a kind of posturing that will occur um, uh, for a short period of time, for seconds, and then there'll be some relaxation. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, occasionally there can be what's called myoclonus or sudden jerky movements that can occur in cortical basal degeneration as well, and there can be some difficulty with the walking.